Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh, and today we're out here to test one of the newest long range cartridges to hit the market for 22 long rifle, the Ely Ultra Extreme Long Range Ammunition. And well, we're gonna test this with two different rifles, and we're gonna find out today if this is a game changer or a gimmick. Stick around. All right, I think we've seen it up there. Let me show you guys the results. All right, so quickly before we go outside and get to the group shooting, I know that's what you guys want to see, but I think there's some important information about this ammunition that I want to explain to you guys and some information that we can extract out of the lot number here. Now, I'll throw a picture of this up above, but if you're not familiar with Ely, their lot number is very telling about the ammunition. So when you look at the label, the first two digits are going to indicate the bullet type. Now that's really important here because they've switched up their bullet lineup. Usually we're used to the EPS style bullet, that silver bullet that you see in Team Match and 10X, something that I really enjoy shooting because you can see that in the air through good optics and it's going to help you with PRS and NRL. Now for this bullet line, if you're looking at the label, you're going to see it's 31. Now why that is important is because Ely Target and Club also have that number 31 indicator. Now, the next two digits are the year of manufacture. So of course, on this, you're going to see 3124, which means it's the 31 bullet produced in 2024. Then you're going to have the dash. Now, the next two numbers are the machine, and then the following three digits are the batch made on that machine within that year of manufacture. So here, and like I said, I'll have a close up of this, but this is an Ely Club bullet and an Ely Ultra bullet. Can you tell them apart? Probably not. And even to the point of pulling these out, I pulled them out of the cartridge and just to look at the base and those are also the same. Now, I'm not entirely sure why they would move away from the EPS style bullet like the Ely Match because like I said, for long range shooting PRS and NRL, that is a really huge benefit having that silver bullet and that EPS has been very successful. A lot of people very successfully shoot in the top levels of competition of NRL, PRS, etc. with that line of bullet. So that's the first indicator of something I don't like is that they went to the Elite Club and Target style bullet and I think what has happened is they made it faster um, which I'm not totally a fan of and I get this kind of argument a lot, or I get people asking me why I don't like faster 22 long rifle, and that's because if you take any ballistic calculator, you set the speed at around 1080, and you put a target at 300 yards with a five mile an hour crosswind, you're going to get a wind hold generated off the BC of that bullet. Now, if you increase the speed of this bullet to like 1150, you're going to see your wind hold increase. I know it's counterintuitive, but because this is such a low BC bullet, the faster you push it, the less wind stable it becomes. Now, without boring you to tears, let's get out there. Let's shoot these groups at 50 and 150 yards. All right, so we got the Ely Ultra loaded up and just for full disclosure, haven't shot any of this through either one of these rifles that we're gonna shoot today. So basically, I'm gonna shoot five Fowlers. They're gonna be on camera, on target. I'm not gonna turn the chrono on for the first five um, because I think that's fair. Like, let's get it lubed in. Let's get, you know, the muzzle velocity jump, anything that may strew our results out of the way. So I'm gonna start at the top left. This first one is a cold board, it is going to be hot. Yeah. All right, so that's five. Chrono is being turned on. And I will show you this after we shoot through. Um, I don't know how many groups we're gonna shoot. We're gonna move over one. We're just gonna shoot groups till we can figure out what we got going on here. This of course is my Voodoo 360. You guys have seen this a lot. It's a very capable rifle custom spun up Krieger barrel. Uh, we have the element 
Theoscope, I mean, this is a very, very well set up gun. And that is a very, very uh, piss poor kind of group, to be honest with you. Let's see if it gets any better. That's three. Well, things are not looking good, but that's why we brought two guns. We're going to give this a fair shot as we can. I don't know what in the world happened to that. It's going to be our last group. At least at 50. We are going to stretch this out to 150. All right. I think we've seen enough there. Let me show you guys the results. Hopefully that's in focus, but yeah. <laughs> Nothing uh, real exciting. All right. CZ 457, this is the custom spun up drop in Muller Works barrel from MCR. Um, another very accurate rifle for me. Uh, you know, I've shot a lot of competitions with this setup. So, yeah, got the Burris XTR Pro. Again, everything on this is, you know, top of the line stuff. We're going to shoot our Fowlers and then I'll restart the Chrono. Okay, well that looks a lot better. The Voodoo absolutely hated it. All right, we're gonna restart everything here, make sure we're lined up. All right. Turn up the magnification a little bit. Let's shoot some groups. Wow. What in the world? I mean, that's a, that's a split group if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and swap mags. Okay, I don't know what to say about that. Wow. All right, let's see if between the two, if we've got enough to shoot one more group to switch mags during this. Not that it's gonna matter by the looks of it. I mean, it looks like it wants to group it sometimes, but then it just freaking throws one. Well, those are all in the same hole. That one was not. That one went back, so... I don't know. I'll show you guys the chrono results. That's what we're looking at there. Nothing super impressive. Not terrible. Well, 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 well. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go paint those 150 yard targets, move the downrange camera, and we're just going to shoot, we're going to shoot at the big plate. I'm going to put one mark in the center and we're just going to see what it does at distance. So let's get on it. Alrighty. So fresh paint, trying a different color. Uh, so you'll notice they're red instead of white. White is kind of hard on the cameras, especially when they're in sunlight. So hopefully the impacts will show up pretty clearly. 
since the CZ was already up here, we're going to start with that. And I'm out of breath a little bit because I literally ran back from the 150 yard targets because it's like 90 something degrees. And that downrange camera does not like to run in the sunlight for very long. And I want to make sure we catch this. We're going to dial up four mils, parallax to 150. Okay, that hit basically right above the crater. That doesn't look too bad. That looks okay. Okay, that one was definitely louder and a higher impact. Okay. Oh, that one dropped all the way down to my point of aim. That one back in the group. So, I'm at 150. That's a pretty big vertical group. You know, it could be workable, but, you know, $18 a box, you know, based on the groups at 50. Uh, the CZ was the better of the two for this ammo. You know, I think the group's probably for the most part, we're MOA. Um, but at a distance there, I think you're seeing that SD and ES play out on steel. Um, typically, I wanna see my SD below six, you know, four to six, and the ES around 20, um, and that will keep things tight out of distance. So, let's go to the Voodoo. All right, and since the Voodoo has sat, I'm going to burn two, just to make sure we're being fair again here. I don't want this to be about a cold bore or anything like that. So we're gonna burn two. Same process, I dial up 4.1, parallax to 150, turn on my level. And we'll be shooting at the right plate this time, just getting this guy leveled off. But I'm gonna go up to the uh, silhouette, the little Ipsic. Oh, you guys can't see actually. I'm gonna put it on the left plate. I'm gonna aim just left of where I shot the last group. That way you guys can see them. That hit, uh, oh, uh-oh. That one didn't wanna come all the way out of there. Okay, that's interesting. Also got an ant crawling all over me. So we'll burn one more and we'll move over. Okay, all right, there's our burners. I'm gonna find a good aiming point. What I'm gonna do is actually dial down and I'm gonna aim kind of the top part of the plate on the right. I'll point it out in the video, but here we go. Okay. Kind of lost my aim point. Holy crap. Okay. Just checking my aiming point each time. Again, I'm aiming at the same spot. Wind is picking up, so that's the left or right you're seeing. But we're worried about the wind ejection. I'm gonna give this a little bit of um, left hold because the wind's picking up. I don't want it going off plate. All right, so there's 10 on plate at 150 yards. Yeah. Um, at 18 bucks a box, I can say this, I'm not not super duper impressed. All right, so based off what I saw today, the testing, the muzzle velocity, the SD across two different rifles, it's my custom 457 
and my custom Voodoo, uh, $18 a box, I think I'm sticking with Team or Match at like $13 to $16 a box. Again, the silver bullet in the EPS line of bullets, that's Team Match 10X, um, huge benefit being silver. It's very, very easy to see in flight and that's going to help a lot. And I'm not sure why Ely went with the darker, more standard bullet on this. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gaining. Obviously in my guns, this didn't test that great. And as a quick note, I've only tested one lot. Not sure in the future if you're gonna be able to buy this by lot. I think right now, just go on Killa's website and it's just the one lot and that's what you're going to get. Um, it does have the lot number indications on it. So I would assume as the inventory or as you know production speeds up, this will be available to lot test both at the test center and probably on your own by buying it through Kilo. But for now, 18 bucks a box, I think it's going to get outperformed by Team, 10X, Match, uh, and most everybody's rifle. I had a buddy of mine test the same lot, and my results were actually better than his across the board, if you can believe it, in both SDES and group sizes at 50. So take from that what you will. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one.